Capricorn, welcome to your weekly Sidera forecast for July 6th to the 12th. My name is Athen. So last week we had that full moon in your 12th house of spiritual things, rest and relaxation. And perhaps you learned quite a bit about that stuff, how important it is to change there. And um, that's going to be activated because we are in the disseminating phase of the lunar cycle, but also because we have some oppositions involving the sun and Mars um, to that 12th house Pluto. So the importance here is that you've been over the past few years changing your uh, spirituality, you know, your outlook on rest and relaxation and connecting to God and things like that. And so, um, you know, with that in mind, being willing to continue to change there this week when these fast moving plants aspect the the 12th but also because uh you know in the sixth house you've got a lot of this energy so mercury is also shifting into here on wednesday but you have you've had mars and the sun here uh which is about the routine the health the diet the regiments the work developing crafts and stuff which perhaps you have been very intent on which is good and so here the importance of, of balance you know so in other words there's the work life you know the day-to-day -day stuff and then there's the relaxing life and the spiritual life so finding the middle ground with that and having non-attachment to both actually is going to be a very important consideration non-attachment to um, the daily you know routine the diets the things like that because there is changes happening to both areas of your life uh, especially this week and last week too relating to these areas so the more open we are to change uh, the better because then more can be changed and there's less resistance which equals less suffering so uh, very nice because uh, Pluto just like every other planet wants change you know for for the best for um, you know what's for our highest good so the change here is um, relating to health diet routine work developing crafts and even your service work you know as well so that emphasis and even you know in the deeper aspects of life changing how you see you know things like life and death and beginnings and endings i think um, is changing as well with the sun who rules your eighth being opposed up to pluto so that's on monday in particular mars will be um, slightly opposing up to that pluto as the week unfolds so important consideration with those things also being willing to change uh, things relating to home and family your emotional body and also the um groups and friends or community stuff and ideals um, but that'll be mostly next week so uh, the Monday is the highlight there with that and then Wednesday uh, there is support up to that Mars from Neptune which I think there has been I think a lot of learning I think there's been a you know especially with Neptune being so well aspected from your second there's been this trust and flow about the material side of things and finances and your sense of self-worth from having faith and from trusting and, and going with the flow because all of this is uh, you know very well aspected uh, this week and so all of that is supporting um, the work or the daily stuff and the routine and stuff so very nice that can unlock a lot of this Mars energy and even support those home family related things as well as ideals and visions and community stuff as well uh, when we are having that faith and trust and flow and that's gonna take up the bulk of the week because that'll be Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday that middle part then Friday and Saturday, Mercury squares up to the North Node, who's been transiting your ninth house of life path. So this whole year is about philosophy, spirituality, expanding your horizons, travel, you know, any of those types of things. But that's the general energy. Really just tapping into your adventurous spirit um, is the uh, emphasis. This isn't a personal thing, but it's there's a, there's a gateway and opening there. And uh, so Mercury squaring up to that is a reminder to put in that intent there, put in conscious energy there with those things and, uh, you know, anything to work on or implement in the daily environment relating to these things would be a good way to work with it. And um, just like with the opposition, find the middle path and, and having intention there. So that'll be good. I think you can learn quite a bit about your life path, where you're going and things that are about that expansive view of life. Then uh, that's the whole, that's the bulk. Then on Sunday, we've got uh, a, a couple aspects I wanted to mention briefly going into next week. I'll cover these in more detail. Um, but uh, Venus will be squaring up to Saturn. I'll cover these in more detail next week. Venus will be squaring up to Saturn, which is a reminder to stay grounded uh, with all this, you know, perhaps optimism and good fortune and stuff relating to relationships or one-on-one -on -one connections or contracts or business stuff with this conjunction here in your seventh house. So um, that's great, and, and that's going to continue to be the case uh, with especially Jupiter continuing his transit of your seventh. Uh, but with Saturn on Sunday and into next week, um, staying grounded with those things, nice and constructive, especially with this hard work that maybe you can be putting into your career and stuff again, as you have been for the past few years, with Saturn going retrograde back into your tenth. And also with Uranus, uh, it's going to be squaring up to uh, the sun. 
so not making any rash you know choices and things relating to health and diet and stuff like that will be important um and you know just relating to your overall self-expression in general and those ebb and flows of life which is the sun so i'll cover this in more detail uh next week but um you know just staying grounded i think over sunday in particular and maybe even over the weekend i think will be a, a good note to take uh, note of but uh, the the energy and the emphasis is definitely on the 12th house where there is change and also in the routine and health and stuff like that and having that openness to change is going to be the key so capricorn have a nice week if you have any questions please let me know if you're new to sidereal do check the description because this is different from typical western astrology and if you'd like a personal session get in touch all right capricorn have a nice week